Hey dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be super quick and easy. It's basically my new favorite hairstyle, which is a top knot bun in the front and then an afro in the back. So yes, yeah, so let's just get started. The reason why I have my hair in four braids is because I don't go to sleep without my hair in either two or four, or four braids at night. Just because, um, I don't know, like I just like to moisturize my hair at night and this is the easiest way to do that. But yeah, so I'm taking out my braids and then I'm going to comb my hair in sections because I feel like it just helps, you know, you lose less hair when you comb it in sections rather than just combing your hair all together at once. And then I'm going to twist my hair. That just helps to stretch it so that when I do wear my hair in the back out in an afro, it looks a little stretched out rather than crinkly since I had it in braids the night before. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to basically do this all over my head. I think I'm actually going to make this like my new winter hairstyle only because it's super easy to do like at night just put your hair in three four braids two braids whatever wake up in the morning comb it out and do like a cute little bun in the front so that it just looks like nice. Now that I'm done combing out my hair, I'm going to untwist it and then get ready to style. So with the bun in the front, I don't like to have as much hair in it. I just like for it to be um, pretty small, like a pretty small group of hair that I use for my bun and I part it from ear to ear. I'm going to just throw my hair in a messy ponytail in the front so that I'm able to comb the back and make sure everything looks good in the back and then I'm going to work my way up to the front. I mentioned this hairstyle is super quick. It's really easy as you guys can see it's not much to it other than combing it and you're about to see me do the bun which is the most tedious part but yeah it's super easy it's super quick if you're looking for something like I said to go to school in the morning or just a quick hairstyle for work and you want something that's different and cute I definitely recommend this hairstyle And so now that I'm done doing the combing in the back, I am about to start on the bun in the front. So usually I put the back of my hair in a ponytail just so that it doesn't get mixed in with the hair that I'm using for the bun. But in this video, I didn't. I just left it out. The gel that I'll be using on my bun is Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. I personally love this gel. Doesn't make my hair dry, doesn't make my hair hard, makes my hair shiny, um, and it tames my hair. So I use it for any type of bun that I do so that the bun can look super slicked down. Alright y'all, so with this scrunchie, I put this thing around my hair like at least 10 times because I need to make sure that my bun looks super tight in the front. So, yeah. So with the ponytail, I'm going to separate it in two different sections and then I'm going to twist each section and then I'm going to wrap it around in the bun.
reason why I'm twisting it is because I just feel like it makes the bun look so much better than just wrapping the hair around. You're going to see like how it makes the bun look, but I just feel like it looks so much better. And it just looks a little bit cuter since the back of your hair is going to be big and out. You kind of want to make the front look like you did something, you know? With the bun, I'm literally just twirling it around, as you can see. So I did that with the front piece, and then I'm going to take the second twist and twirl it around over the first twist. Y'all see how that look? I don't know. Something about the twist with the bun just makes it look so much better. I don't even really wear my hair like in a bun without doing a braid or a twist, honestly. I'll use another scrunchie, but I couldn't find one, so I just used a small little rubber band and I wrapped it around my hair twice. And voila, that's it, girl. You got your little top knot bun in the front and your little afro in the back, and you're done. Now we finna lay our edges real quick because no hairstyle is a finished hairstyle until your edges is laid. But I don't really know how to do my edges on the camera, so you're gonna see me do a little bit and then. I'm going to do it off camera and come back with my finished look. Alright y'all, so this is the end of my tutorial. I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And leave more video ideas down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next one.